What's up, you guys? Pastor John Gray's television show, which aired on the own network called The Book of John Gray, has reportedly been canceled by the own network. The Greenville, South Carolina News reports that OWN has no plans to air new episodes after three seasons with Gray. Holly Baird, a spokesperson for John Gray and his wife, Aventer, told the news outlet that they were already considering other TV and film endeavors. Now, I will be honest with you guys, I did do a video on the ratings of the show and the ratings have been down, but I have to be honest and tell you that it does surprise me that the ratings were down because there's so much drama surrounding Pastor John Gray. And I feel like if you're filming a reality show, you should be able to capitalize on that drama and turn it into numbers, to turn it into ratings. So it's sad from a business standpoint, it's sad that Pastor John Gray and the production of the book of John Gray wasn't able to capitalize on that drama and turn it into numbers. And there's a positive way to do that. I'm not saying it has to be negative. The way they turn that drama into publicity for the show doesn't have to be negative. It can be positive. And I believe the reason they were doing the show in the first place, the book of John Gray, was to be positive. And the fact that they weren't able to capitalize on all that drama is beyond me. Now, I want to get into this. Whenever I report on Pastor John Gray, I see a lot of comments asking, where is his humility? Where is the humility? If you're a man of God and you're following after Christ, the pattern that Christ has set, when you look at the pattern that Jesus Christ has set, the biggest event in the life of Jesus Christ and in the life of Christians is his giving his life on the cross, an act of passion and an act of humility. And so I see so many comments asking, where is the humility? Where is John Gray's, Pastor John Gray's humility? And the reason I understand the reason people are asking that is because he's in the eviction process. They've, they've requested he be removed from the premises. Him and his congregation, they've requested, Hope and Ron Carpenter have requested they be removed from the premises. And you don't see any humility. Like where's the humbleness? Instead of being humble, you see almost like a braggadocious, like we have another facility anyway. And not only do we have one other facility, we have two other facilities. We have a facility here in Greenville and we're moving to Atlanta. Like Atlanta needs another church. So there's a lack of humility there. I'm not surprised to see that response because I'm starting to see the pattern where there's a lack of humility. And what I see, my personal opinion, what I see is arrogance. Arrogance. I think the way Pastor John Gray has handled this whole situation, in my personal opinion, he's been very arrogant. <laughs> 